Hey there, my name is Kastutis and today we're going to compare WordPress.com versus WordPress.org. You have probably heard the name WordPress before, especially if you're thinking about creating a website. But did you know there are two types of WordPress? Even though both WordPress.com and WordPress.org use the same name WordPress, the difference between the two is quite significant. So, choosing the wrong platform can make building your website much more difficult. But don't worry, I am here to help you. In this video, we are going to compare WordPress.com and WordPress.org in terms of pricing, user-friendliness, flexibility and customization, performance and security. But before we compare the two, let's start by discussing why they are both called WordPress. WordPress is a free and open source content management system used by around 43% of all websites. Both WordPress.com and WordPress.org use the software. The key difference between the two is the hosting. When we talk about WordPress.com, we are referring to a blogging service run by Automatic. On this platform, all the installation process is taken care of. You do not need to get hosting because it is included in the platform service. Basically, you get to use a custom version of the WordPress software that's easy to pick up. On the other hand, WordPress.org is the website that hosts the open source version of WordPress. So you'll need to install the software and purchase your own web hosting and domain name to use it. Now let's take a look at their prices. Whether you are creating a personal or professional website, setting it up will have some costs. WordPress.com does offer a free plan but it comes with limited features. For example, if you don't want to have WordPress.com on your domain, you will need to purchase a domain name separately. But WordPress.com also offers premium plans. For small bloggers, the personal plan, which costs $4 per month, is a good option. You can remove the WordPress.com ads and get a custom domain name. The premium plan at $8 per month is ideal for users who want to monetize their website with ads. It includes premium themes and lets users edit their sites with CSS. The business plan is great for websites that require more customization. It offers access to thousands of plugins and themes and Google Analytics integration for $25 per month. Lastly, WordPress.com has an e-commerce plan for $45 per month. As the name suggests, it is suitable for online stores, providing more premium design options and accepting payments in more than 60 countries. To take full advantage of the features available on WordPress.com, I recommend getting the business plan, unless you are creating an online store, in which case you'll need to go for the e-commerce plan. What about WordPress.org? Using the platform and the software won't cost you a dime you'll spend mostly on getting your own hosting and domain. Just to give you an idea of what kind of cost you're looking at, on average, hosting costs from $2 to $14 per month. Then, the price for a domain name goes from $1 to $30 per year. At Hostinger, for example, we offer a free domain name with our premium and business shared hosting plans. The premium shared hosting plan is available for $2.99 per month. And, besides the domain, includes a free SSL certificate and WordPress acceleration tools to improve your site's performance. And don't forget that we have a special discount for hosting your Academy viewers, with the coupon HA10, which is also listed in the video description. Once your hosting is sorted, it's time to choose some plugins and themes for your website. Costs can vary a lot depending on what type of tool you need, but premium plugins usually start at around $10 per license where themes tend to go for over $20. But there are thousands of free options available on the WordPress directory, so you don't need to spend money on premium themes or plugins. In my experience, most people do splurge a bit in this area, as it will give them an edge to create a successful site. As you can see, the cost of using WordPress.com and WordPress.org depends on your website's needs. WordPress.com has a set of pricing plans that determine the features you'll get. With WordPress.org, you get more freedom in selecting your hosting plan and tools. If you choose wisely, you can get more features at a lower cost, which sounds like a better deal, right? 
Okay, now that you know the cost of each platform, let's see which one is easier to set up and use. With WordPress.com, you only need to set up an account and choose a plan to create a website. Once you insert the website's name and fill out your personal information, you can access the dashboard right away. The WordPress.com dashboard is pretty intuitive, but some settings and features are restricted to specific plans. So, you might find that the dashboard options are quite limited if you don't get at least the business plan. With WordPress.org, your choice of hosting affects the setup process. Some hosting plans will require installing WordPress separately, which involves additional steps and some technical knowledge. But some hosting providers, like Hostinger, offer an auto-installer to simplify the process. So, once you have purchased a hosting plan and created an account, log in to access your H panel. There, you will find the WordPress auto-installer button. Once you insert the title and admin information, you can create the website and access the dashboard directly from your hosting account. The WordPress dashboard is similar to WordPress.com, but it gives you more freedom to access all of its features. For example, you will be able to install your desired plugins and themes right away. So, WordPress.com might seem like an easier option. But with the right hosting plan, you can set up and use WordPress.org just as easily, and you still get more features. Next, it's time to compare WordPress.com versus WordPress.org in terms of flexibility and customization. Let's start with WordPress.com. With this platform, you do have access to some free themes, even with the free plan. But if you want to access more themes, you will definitely need to have at least the premium plan. WordPress.com also limits the plugins to business and e-commerce users. So the flexibility and customization options are pretty limited if you don't have the right plan. With WordPress.org, there are no limitations. As soon as you get your website up and running, you can install any of the thousands of plugins and themes available. From the sheer numbers alone, WordPress.org offers way more flexibility and customization. You can create any type of website and customize it accordingly. But what about the performance? Speed is essential for a better user experience and higher SEO rankings. You want your pages to load fast, so visitors can interact with your content right away. WordPress.com is consistently fast with all of its plans, and you don't have to worry much about optimization. But you do rely a lot on the platform, which means you have less control over the site's performance. With WordPress.org, apart from the software itself, your hosting provider plays an important role in your website speed. Since you can use any hosting provider you want, do your research to find the one with top-notch performance. In addition, you can, for example, integrate a content delivery network with your WordPress website, or leverage browser caching to improve your site speed. WordPress.com does a lot of the work for you in terms of performance. On the other hand, WordPress.org gives you freedom to optimize and control every little aspect of your site, but your choice of hosting will significantly impact the results. Finally, let's talk about security. When creating a website, we obviously do not want any malicious users gaining access to sensitive information or distributing malware and spam. When it comes to security, WordPress.com does protect your site right away since it's a closed platform. So you don't have to worry much about adding additional security features. With WordPress.org, you'll need to be more active in securing your site. First, make sure to choose a web hosting provider that offers great security features. For example, Hostinger's plans come with DDoS protection and an SSL certificate by default. Then, you can also install a plugin, such as WordFriends or Security Ninja, for additional security. WordPress.com takes care of security so you can focus on other aspects. With WordPress.org, you choose how you secure the site, which also requires more research and time. 
As you can see from our WordPress.com versus WordPress.org comparison, there are similarities between the platforms, but they cater to different types of users. WordPress.com is a great option for beginners who want to create a simple website focusing more on its content than the technical aspects. WordPress.com is also incredibly simple to set up, but the features you get depend on the plan you choose. On the other hand, WordPress.org is more flexible and scalable. Once you set it up, you will have access to thousands of plugins and themes right away. You will also have total freedom regarding which hosting to use. But with great power comes great responsibility. If you use WordPress.org, you have to find the right hosting provider and plan, and select any additional features your site may need. Choosing the wrong ones can make setting up and using WordPress more difficult. But at the end of the day, especially with a proper hosting provider, WordPress.org gives you much more possibilities and results. That's it! All you need to know about WordPress.com versus WordPress.org. Let us know in the comment section below which platform you prefer. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome content like this in the future. Until next time, best of luck in your online journey.